What is up, guys? This is Zach, and we just finished up this project. Come check it out. You can see we got a, a nice covered patio out here, which does keep everything, um, you know, out of the elements. But we still put in some nice outdoor weatherproof in ceiling speakers up underneath the ship lap here. Um, you can see we have the episode signature series. This is the 1300s, um, and we basically just completely engulfed it. We have them on every single panel throughout the space so that it creates a really nice distribution throughout the, the entire um, dining as well as uh, living area out here. Now we're controlling this system with Sonos so they can come in and even kind of uh, balance their audio depending on which part of the uh, living space that they're in, whether they're over here grilling or if they're sitting over here um, watching, you know, golfing. Um, what's really nice is that you can have you know, TV going on the television and you can have oh, yeah. music going through the in-ceiling speakers or you can have TV going throughout the entire space and you can also group this together with other rooms of the house. So if you take a look here, we actually right now have the Gazebo 1 back patio and Gazebo 2 all paired together. So he has a couple other in-ceiling speakers put in over there on that part of the house. Um, if you just want to pan over real quickly and show them back over here um, so that as he's entertaining he can have his guests moving from inside to outside and it seamlessly flows volume controls as simple as this come right in and you can turn them down independently just like that or up and if you're wondering why everything's so responsive it's because we put in an outdoor um, access point up here behind the television so that the Wi-Fi range is 300, 400 megabits per second out here. He can sit out here and watch a 4K movie and stream his music with absolutely no issues. Now, if you notice, this is a standard indoor TV, uh, Samsung. Just a cheap one he picked up from Costco. It does do the trick and, uh, you know, it's completely out of the elements. Um, so it may um, or may not last out here. We do recommend doing a true outdoor TV. But if you don't do one, um, you know, at least get it hidden, you know, uh, up away from direct rain. Um, this is kind of an overview for a typical backyard setup. Um, uh, one other thing that we did integrate in is lighting control, which is pretty cool. Um, what we're using is Lutron. So the customer can come in here into his um, Lutron app and control lights independently. For example, you have the exterior barbecue light right over the um, grill there. So he can come in and put that at the exact percentage that he'd like or automate it to where it comes on and off at different times of the day. Or say even, you know, he's inside in the kitchen and he wants the uh, pathway lit up. He can come in right to deck lights and turn on the deck lights. And now if you look, our deck lights are on. And all this can be automated as well so that you can just have them come on and off automatically at certain times of the day or even with sunrise and sunset. Um, and this is expandable to the rest of the home as well. Um, you can see right right now we've just done his out, outside project as well as um, we have the theater room and then the golf room, uh, golf simulator room on there. Um, but it's a pretty cool little system. It gives you complete flexibility to control all your lights um, in a particular space or an entire home. Um, we also have automated shades. Uh, that's something that you're interested in. Um, I hope you guys found this video informative. If you would like us to do something like this for you and you live in Dallas, we'd be happy to do the installation for you and provide all of the equipment. If you don't live in Dallas, we do have a low price guarantee and can ship it to you. Uh, watch our videos, get inspired, um, give us a thumbs up. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.